Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It's one of the most touristy places on earth, which is why we're back here again. Because we want to show you that if you're coming from out of town, whether you guys are out going for cotton candy or ice cream or one of the million fast food restaurants that's here, you can walk right down the street and head to the west prong of the Little Pigeon River right near Dollywood and have a great time catching trout. Here we go. Not a bad fish. It's got a lot of color to it. Good color. Big red stripe. Just sitting back there at the end of the pool is where he was at. Look at that nice little rainbow here on the pigeon. Man, look at this thing. We're drifting through the pools and it was at the tail end of a pool using silver label salmon eggs on this guy. All right, so we use a lot of different eggs here on Potsky Outdoors. This one right here is not the most commonly used egg. We kind of say it's kind of overlooked. It's a little bit fatter version of gold label. It's got silver flakes. It's a bigger egg. You can see right there. This is our GoPro, so you're not going to get the greatest image of all, but we're going to show you why it works just as good. And sometimes you got to just show these fish something different. Sometimes they want the gold smaller size. Sometimes they want the silver size. We're about to find out which one they want this time. Keep an eye on that float right there. And we're going to hope these trout cooperate with us today. You can see that chartreuse neon looking float right on the edge of the fast current. Now, there, that's a bite. Oh my gosh, instantly got a bite. Nice colors on this one too. And another decent fish. The rainbow. Here we go. All right, let me give you a little key over here if you're coming to Pigeon Forge. I know a lot of people come out here, they'll fish the ridge, river, and they actually do a lot of dough bait fishing, those type of things. Give you an idea as far as instead of just dropping it to the bottom and kind of working its way across and just dumping it, you get hung up a lot. I've got another great way of doing something that actually worked phenomenal today. So what I'm doing is actually using our fire bait, the peach garlic specifically, because the scent is incredible on garlic and using it under a float so I don't get hung up. So what I'm doing is actually set it up with a simple float this way. So a peg float, and a lot of you should be familiar with this type of float, uh, on my main line, over to a few split shots and a, in a barrel swivel. So if I get my leader hung up and it breaks off, it's gonna break off there, I don't lose the whole thing. I can actually add another additional leader on it. But what I'm doing here is a really short six inch leader, because remember, firebait floats. So if it floats and your leader length with split shot is too long, you're gonna be floating it near the top. I want this near the bottom, I want my actual weights almost hitting bottom and dragging my fire bait along. So what I'm doing is using a really small salmon egg hook. This thing is a number 10 salmon egg hook. So what I'm trying to do is catch these fish on the lip because I'm going to be releasing everything so I don't want to take it all the way down. So that's what I'm doing on that. So there we go. Fire bait, dough bait, very buoyant, small amount. Roll it onto my hook, make it in a little worm shape there, a little elongated shape, using it that way, and it's drifting along that way. Oh, there's a little fight to him. That'll do, a little bit of fight. Nice fish there. Peach garlic on that guy. Gonna change it up a little bit. Let's get him in the nets. Look at that, right on the corner. Perfect, here we go putting some nice fish in here. All right, so again, we're right down here in the middle of Pigeon Forge right now. We're gonna show you the quality of the fish TWA is stocking in here. Remember, TWRA stocks here, City and Gatlinburg stocks in Gatlinburg. So check this out. This is the average rainbow that they have here in Pigeon Forge. Really nice fish. You know, we've been all over North America and you don't see stockers that are this quality on average. So we're gonna let this guy go. Hopefully he's ready to swim back home and uh, leave them for you guys to come catch them. Calm down, buddy, you're going home. Ease up. And see you next time, buddy. He's gone. Is that a fire egg or a fire worm? Fire worm. Fire worm. Look at this. Oh, that's your float. I see your float. Worm right in its mouth. Ooh, he doesn't like that net. Net job for the ages, boys. All right. 
There's my first to hand. Switched up to the uh, beautiful fire worm. First cast. All right, so you guys are not seeing things. This is the same exact spot we were in already, but it's looking real different. And this is 10 minutes later from the last fish that we caught. A big thunderstorm came through here and look at this. There is a new found mud line that just showed up right here, all the way down from the runoff. And the river has come up dramatically already. Now we're gonna try the same techniques and see if we can still get bit here. Mike's got on the fireworm. Joe is still using silver label. And we're gonna see if they still wanna bite even as the water has come up so quickly and the conditions have changed drastically. All right, today I was using Botsky fireworm. Uh, used orange, used pink. Um, orange and the pink were kind of getting the most bites. I even tried the natural brown color. Uh, but far, by far, the pink was getting the most bites for me. Uh, pretty simple rigging for me. All I was doing was literally going right through the nose of the worm and going, oh, I don't know, just about a quarter of the way through. This stuff's pretty durable, so you got to kind of work it through. It takes a little bit of effort, but once you get it on the hook, it's pretty much there to stay, which is good because you're not losing it to the fish. And I just kind of slide it up the line just ever so gently because a lot of those fish will hit most of the time right at the top of the worm. So that's as easy as it gets and i've been doing it two different ways i uh, did it under a float with a split shot and i also did just free drifting with a single split shot and then the fireworm with about a number size six hook and just drifting right along the current right on the bottom and feel the bottom you just kind of lift up on a little bit the fish were really aggressive for this they were coming up to the surface on the retrieve and grabbing it uh, on the way in The fire worm. Nice rainbow. Ooh, I think he likes that fire worm. Which color is that? Pink? We know that we're a full week after they stocked fish here. They, we were told stocked them last Tuesday. Today is a Monday after a phenomenal weekend here in May where it was 80 degrees and sunny and everybody and their grandmother was out fishing. So we figured it would be a good time to head over to the Riverwalk Greenway right in front of LeConte Center at Pigeon Forge and the place that everybody on earth knows about. They call it the island. Paula Deans is over there. The Ferris wheels over there. Tennessee whiskey or Old Smokey or whatever you want to call it is over there. We didn't do any of that. We went right down to the river and went trout fishing. You'll see some beautiful footage of some beautiful trout that were stocked by TWRA right here in downtown Pigeon Forge. Remember, Gatlinburg stocks their own fish. The state stocks Pigeon Forge. Now, you're gonna notice that we fish today from Jake Thomas Boulevard on downstream, roughly a quarter mile. We focused on that little section right there. On a Monday morning, we came here, we fished it, we got blown out by a thunderstorm. We came back late in the evening and finished it after that for an hour and a half and had a great time fishing with three different baits today. Mike focused a lot on using the brand new fireworms. He's a steelhead guy from the Pacific Northwest that came out here from vacation and he loves fishing worms. It's more active, it's fun, you can get a reactionary strike. Joe knew in order for him to get a lot of fish, he had to focus on two baits today that ever strong smelling peach garlic fire bait. If you open that jar, whoever's downstream from you 10, 15 yards, they're gonna smell that garlic and that's why the trout like it so much as well. We also used silver label salmon eggs. You guys haven't seen us use these that much up here simply because our other eggs work so well. But today we wanted to show you that silver label work even better. Now, remember, TWA stocks these fish and remember to thank them because TWRA did a great job raising these fish. We're talking 14, 15, 16 inch rainbows that are stocked here. We fish all over the South, all over the East, and other than maybe Cherokee and parts of West Virginia, this is an average that is not normal. These are beautiful rainbow trout caught right here in downtown Pigeon Forge.
Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.